Today you will need your weather pictures, your alphabet song chart, activity packet page 43, and writing packet page 40. Please gather round and sit right down under the teaching tree. It's time to listen and to learn under the teaching tree. Welcome back to the teaching tree. Let's check out what Sophie and Sydney left us in the squirrel stash. I found seed packets and a cat. I know what those squirrels want to review. The cat reminds me of the sound of the letter C. Do you remember the sound of the letter C? The letter C makes the k sound, like in the word cat. Place your hand in front of your lips and say k again. K. Did you feel air on your hand when you made the k sound? The seed packets remind me of what we learned about the seasons. God created four seasons. What is different about each of the seasons? Each season has a different type of weather. Spring is cool and very rainy. Summer is hot and the days are long. Fall or autumn is cool, and the crops are harvested and leaves fall. Winter is cold and the days are short. God planned the seasons for us to enjoy. Let's check in with our friendly weather reporter to see what kind of weather they'll have. Hello, Vivian. I'm so happy to see you. Vivian, are you ready to show us the weather where you live? I see a rain puddle. Vivian says her weather is rainy. It's your turn to play weather reporter. Pause and check to see what the weather is like at your house. What is the weather like where you live? Take out your weather pictures. Is your weather sunny, rainy, windy, cloudy, or snowy? Pick the correct picture and show me. That's fantastic. Place your weather pictures to the side. No matter the weather, we can have a great day. Yay! Stand up and get ready to wiggle. Sit back down. I'm ready for science. Calling all scientists. This includes you. There is a sequence or an order to making applesauce. So how do you make applesauce? Apples grow on trees. You pick the apples from the tree or buy the apples that someone else picked from the tree. Then you prepare the apples by washing, peeling, and slicing them. Next, you add water, sugar, and cinnamon. Then you cook the apples until they become soft. Last, you place the cooked, soft applesauce in jars for the future. Watch as I prepare some applesauce. I'll start with apples that were picked from the tree. They were washed and peeled. Next, I will slice the apples like this and add it to my pot. When I'm done with all of my apple slices, I need to add a half a cup of water, which I've already done, a half a cup of sugar. So here's my half cup of sugar, and I'll add that in just like that. Sugar's sweet. Now I'll add in one teaspoon of cinnamon. Oh, cinnamon makes everything taste yummy. So there's one teaspoon of cinnamon. Now I'm going to add my secret ingredient. I always add a half tablespoon of vanilla as well. 
Now I'll mix all of that together, just like this. Mmm, it smells so good. I want you to pretend that you can smell it. Ready? Smell with me. Oh, it's so yummy. Now in real life, I would let this cook for at least four hours. We'll just pretend that the four hours have passed and look what I have. I have finished cooked applesauce. Wow, let's see how it tastes. Ooh, oh, it smells heavenly. Mmm, and it tastes wonderful. Maybe you can ask your grown-up if you can make some homemade applesauce. I think you'll have fun. We have an activity packet page that goes with this lesson. Take out activity packet page 43. I want you to watch as I cut each section apart. I will cut on the solid black lines like this. Take your time, cut it in half. Now I'll cut on this black line. And one more cut and I'm done. Cut on this solid black line. Be careful not to cut your fingers. Just like that. Now it's your turn. Your grown-up may pause the program to give you time to cut on the solid black lines. I want you to look carefully at the images or pictures. What is the first thing that happens in order to make applesauce? Well, first, apples have to grow on trees. What's the second thing that happens? Second, they're picked from the trees. What's the third thing that happens? Third, they're cooked. And what's the last thing that happens? And last, they're jarred so they can be eaten later. So this is what you need to do to make applesauce. You pick the apples from a tree. So you have a tree, you pick the apples from the tree, you cook the apples, and you jar it to make your own applesauce. This is the sequence or the order. Your grown-up can staple the pages together to make a nice little book for you on how to make applesauce. Won't that be fun? Stand up and get ready to move. <laughs> Sit back down. Language is next. Wait, I hear Sophie and Sydney. Let's listen. Cooking, cooking, cooking. Why are you singing about cooking? I am cooking applesauce. Sophie made applesauce just like I did. I'm sure it will be delicious. The word cooking reminds me of our letter sound for this lesson. Hmm, what letter starts the word cooking? I'll get the letter from the nest. Oh, look, it's the lowercase letter C. The letter C makes the k sound, like in the word k cooking. Do you think the lowercase letter C looks like the uppercase letter C? Yes, they look alike. The uppercase letter C is just bigger than the lowercase letter C. I want you to take out your alphabet song chart and turn it over to the lowercase side, like this. Let's sing our ABC song together. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? 
I want you to point to the lowercase letter C on your chart. Did you point to this letter? I hope so. If you found the correct letter, I want you to clap like a chimpanzee. Place your chart to the side. Take a good look at uppercase letter C. Here it is. And lowercase letter C. There it is. Both the uppercase letter C and the lowercase letter C make the same sound. Do you remember the sound that C makes? It makes the k sound. Say the k sound with me. Ready? K. Let's look at Carrie Cat and all the things that she has that makes the k sound. We see Carrie Cat and her car and a carrot cake and candy carrots and a card. All of those k sounds made me want to sing our phonics songs for the letter C. Sing along. There goes Carrie Cat in her little car. She picked up a carrot cake and a birthday card. Oh, wait. Before we have handwriting, we need to look in Max's backpack. He left some items that start with the k sound. What do you think we'll find? Mm, I'm so excited. We have a cup and a cow. Isn't that cute? He's wearing a hat. And a cap. All of these things start with the k sound. To make the sound correctly, you open your mouth a little and have air blow through from the back of your mouth, like this. K. Try it with me. K. You should feel the air leave your lips. K. Place your hand in front of your lips and say K up cup with me. K up cup. Did you feel the air? I hope so. That's something you can work on if you're struggling. Stand up. It's time to move. Sit back down. Let's write. We've been learning about lowercase letter c. Watch how lowercase or little c is formed. Begin near the middle and swing around. I'll air trace the letter. Begin near the middle and swing around. Now you air trace the letter with me. Begin near the middle and swing around. Sophie will help us learn to write the lowercase letter c on our writing packet page. Take out writing packet page 40. Place your finger on the letter right near Sophie. Do you see her? Now finger trace with me. Begin near the middle and swing around. Now look, we have several lowercase letter c's at the bottom. I want you to pick up your pencil, make sure you're holding it correctly. We pinch with two and rest on three. And we will trace the C's at the bottom just like this. Follow those dashed lines. Work with me. Get near the middle and swing around. And one more. Begin near the middle and swing around. Now we have some beautiful pictures on our page. We have some corn and we have a cake and we have a cowboy. What sound do each one of those things start with? They start with the k sound. Your grown up may pause the program to give you time to color your page. When you are finished coloring, your page may look like this. It's time for review. Do you remember? Which word starts with the k sound? 
I have a camel and a pie and a dog. Which one starts with the k sound? Camel starts with the k sound. Do lowercase and uppercase C look alike? Yes, lowercase C is just smaller. What fruit do you use to make applesauce? Apples make applesauce. Applesauce is made fresh in the fall when the apples ripen on the trees. We have a story today, and it's all about the seasons. Hello, friend. Welcome back to Storytime. Max's friend Maisie is here again to listen with you to another story about Chester the Chipmunk. It's called Chester's Favorite Season. Chester stepped outside. It had come. The air was cold and brisk. Orange, yellow, red, and brown leaves were everywhere. Some of them still coated the branches of the forest trees, while others were carpeting the forest floor. A small chilly breeze swooped around him, ruffling his fur, and Mr. Sun's sunbeams seemed even brighter as they glinted through the cold air. Yes, autumn had come. The kitchen smelled of Grandma's cinnamon apple cider. Chester watched the cider swirl around as Grandma slowly stirred it. What's your favorite season, Grandma? Chester asked. Grandma thought for a moment and then said, The older I get, the more I just enjoy each season as it comes. They're all different, and I like different things about each one. Chester thought about this. I think you're right, Grandma, he said. What do you like about autumn? Grandma asked. Chester grinned. That was easy. Your cider, he said, and Grandma smiled. But I also like how beautiful the forest becomes when the leaves change colors. Do you remember last winter, Grandma asked, when you and Myron and Emily made the snowman? Yes, <laughs> Chester couldn't help giggling as he remembered. We named him Chuckle because his acorn mouth looked like he was laughing. And Billy Bluebird brought walnuts for his eyes. And you had me sew him a vest, too, Grandma said. It was made of my old red dress. And Myron used some vines to make him a pair of glasses, and Emily stuck big mushrooms on the side of his head for ears, Chester reminded her. Yes, Chuckles was quite a sight when you were done with him, Grandma said. Then she took a ladle and poured Chester a cup of warm apple cider. The cup warmed his paws as he held it and blew into the cider to cool it. What do you like about spring, Grandma? The fresh flowers and warm breezes, Grandma said. Emily likes flowers a lot, too. Chester said. She sure does, Grandma said as she began cutting slices of bread. She brings me back little bouquets of wildflowers almost every day, so my kitchen and living room are full of them. They're so beautiful, and they smell nice too. Billy Bluebird likes spring a lot, Chester said. He likes flying around in the warm air and we play together more when it's warm. Yes, all you young animals seem to love spring, Grandma said. You can romp and frolic all around the forest after being burrowed away for most of the winter. Summer's nice too, Chester said. The days are long and warm, and we explore the forest. I found lots of mushrooms and berries last summer. And Emily found lots of flowers. Chester sipped his cider, thinking. Then he said, I've never thought about all the seasons all at once, Grandma. I'm so glad we have them all. They are wonderful to enjoy, Grandma agreed. But 
she added. With each season comes new work, like raking the leaves and collecting nuts. <laughs> All right, Grandma, Chester said with a laugh. I'll get the rake out and start raking the leaves out of the front yard. I think Myron and Emily will want to jump in the pile of leaves, too, like we did last year. That was fun! Chester raked up the orange, red, yellow, and brown leaves into a big pile. It took him over an hour, and even though the air was cold, the work made him hot. He was glad that many of the cool autumn breezes were out playing. They often swirled around him, ruffling his fur and cooling him down. After all that work, Chester was hungry. Grandma had some thick tomato soup and grilled acorn sandwiches waiting. Mmm, -mm, they were delicious. Later, Myron, Emily, and Chester went out and played in the huge pile of colorful leaves. They took turns jumping in them. What fun! That night, they all had cups of warm cinnamon apple cider as they sat around the living room talking about autumn. Emily said she wanted to collect some of the colorful leaves and press them in a book. Chester and Myron said they would help her, of course. Grandma suggested that they could put the pressed leaves in the windows as decorations or make a wreath for the front door. Chester sighed happily. He was enjoying this autumn already. The end. Do you like it when the leaves change color and the days get cooler? What's your favorite season? Like Chester, mine is autumn. I hope you enjoyed today's story. I'll see you next time. The seasons are wonderful. Something else wonderful is math. We'll work hard, learn some new words, and a new shape. See you soon.